In this video I'm going to show you how to customize Twitter. So when you're at the home page of Twitter and you're signed in, then you click on settings and you can fill in all of this information such as your uh, the first boxes are going to be filled in based on what you signed up with. But then you have a more info URL so that's great for linking to your website. I put in social networking professor one line tagline bio I would uh, highly recommend that you insert something in there your location and uh, I would leave protect my updates uh, unchecked the only reason you'd want to check that is if you're using Twitter just for a private application to communicate to family or something and you don't want anybody else to be able to see it so then you hit save to update your settings and now if you want to change your password you can change it under password that's pretty straightforward and self-explanatory devices under devices you're able to put in your mobile cell phone number so that you can update your Twitter by cell phone and you can get notifications on your cell phone when other people update their Twitter there are various things you can do with that if you click on notices this is something that you may want to customize it has starting from the top as auto nudge which basically will send you a text message to your phone if you haven't updated your Twitter within 24 hours so if you really want to get uh, strong about sending out messages to Twitter then you can do that uh, it, by default it has it emails you when someone starts following you and that's something important to know because that means that if you start following people a lot of times they're going to get it in the email because that's the default setting and then they'll go and look at your profile and then they'll start following you that's pretty common so a uh, good percentage of people that you start following will start following you and so it's one way to get more people following you uh, tr direct text emails so one of the things that people are able to do is send a message directly to you and then you have a checkbox there that will email that to you as well and then the email newsletter that you can opt into I'm not going to change any of these I'll just leave them at the default but if I did then I'd hit save then pictures I recommend that you use a profile picture preferably your own picture because that will brand yourself into the Twitter and allow people to see who you are and it makes it more personal uh, the default picture uh, isn't you know that's so common you don't want it to be there you want people to see your post specifically uh, and then design actually let's go back to picture for a second I want to show you how to add a picture so you browse you find the picture on your computer and then you select the picture and click open and it'll load here you go ahead and click save and see there now I have the picture now we go to design and <laughs> that's a nice picture it says um, this is the theme so you can change both the background image and it'll allow you to actually browse and upload background images um, or you can select one of these themes that are pre-built there's the default and then you have these other ones you can also change the design color so you can change the text the, or this uh, theme has these specific colors so I'm gonna go ahead and just change that just because it will make it more uh, stand out more and then uh, 
one note about the about changing the background image if you look up in Google and you type in Twitter themes and go search now I'm going to Google first just because there's a lot of different ways to do it but um, going to Google and searching for Twitter themes will always work so the first one is Twitter gallery and that's a pretty cool application and I'm going to show it to you here uh, but if there's any, you know, if that one stops working or starts charging or something, then uh, by going to Google and typing in Twitter themes, then you can uh, you can bypass sites that stop working or whatever. And you can see there are 45 million different sites. So. Uh, I'm going to choose for the category technology and this is I like this one a lot because because it uh, lets you install it you click on install next to the one you want and you can actually put in your username and password for Twitter click on install theme now automatically it says tweet about this and I'm gonna go ahead and leave that on there just because uh, I want to show you how the, what it's doing there so you click on install the theme and then click here to view will probably just take you right to your account my whole uh, you know they've completely updated my look this way and then it, see it said um, it doesn't look like their system for tweeting about it is working because I don't see a tweet about it but normally the way it works if it says tweet about this and it would post a little tweet here that says um, I just customized my profile using this and it you know link to their the website <coughs> so you can see, let me go back here to design, that bypassed all of this because it automatically changed the colors and changed the background image and all of that all at once. So that's great. And I'm going to go back to home here as well. And See now, I have my icon next to the things. And it says Buddy Friend Maker, uh, and if someone clicks on my profile, this is my working model. This isn't what this is close to what people see, but it's not exactly what people see. If I click on profile, then that's what people see. And you'll see now that I've customized it, it has name, buddy friend maker, location, Beaverton, Oregon, web, and it has my website, which is a link, and it says bio, taking the confusion out of social networking. So now I've really optimized this site to work uh, as a Twitter account, and that's th uh, the most of what you need to do as far as the initial setup of Twitter you're all set up and customized in this case this last set of steps isn't vitally important but at least changing and adding your website and, and the bio is important the rest of it is extra just to make it look more unique and interesting so that's how you customize Twitter <laughs>